Welcome back to another vlog. As you can see behind me, we've got a load of shingles that we're about to strap down. Uh, so stick around if you'd like to know how to strap them down safely. So shingles are one of the easiest loads, they're one of the quickest loads, and you'll be probably hauling them a lot. Uh, but what you're going to need is you're going to need edge protection and you're going to need a minimum of 10 inches wide as well as 4 inches deep. So this right here, this is going to cover the minimum. Uh, they make V boards that are much nicer, they last much longer, but these do the job just as well. So at a minimum you're going to want 24 of these, so if you're going to haul shingles, and they're typically gonna be pretty heavy. They like you to haul at least 46,000 pounds, I believe. Uh, you're gonna definitely wanna get some edge protectors. But let's talk about how to secure this load. It's very, very simple. And you just look at the amount of stacks that you have. <laughs> Easy enough, right? Uh, on the first two stacks, way up front, you're gonna want at least two straps per stack. And then on the very back, way back there, on the very last stack, you're gonna want two straps as well. Every stack in between, just one. That's it, really. Uh, there are some companies out there, like for instance, TMC, they're gonna want you to throw a cross strap or an X strap across the very front. And that would just basically look like something like, it, you know, it would go up and over this corner right here. And then it would go down to the other side and then around and then it would cinch down over there. So if you haul for a company like that, make sure you know your company's requirements as far as what they're gonna want. They may want you to do that. Uh, you know, I own this setup, so I kinda get to do what I want. Uh, and to me, it is comfortable and it is safe. I've hauled them enough that just what I talked about, two in the front two stacks, two in the very back stack, and one all the way throughout the rest is good enough. So I got some straps to throw, so let's get to work. truck is gonna be behind me he just fired up I just got through as you can see though a little minute, one more little tip for you half twists half twists are your best friend and half twists not full twists full twists will actually defeat the purpose um, a half twist on both sides will keep this strap more secure and you'll be able to get better tension on it and you'll be able to hold it better so as you're tightening down sometimes on the other side you're gonna get, if you can look, you see how this half twist, the rounded portion is facing forward? Well, sometimes on the other side, it's going to wind up going the other way. Uh, don't worry about it though, it's easy to fix. So I'm gonna show you how right now. All you're really gonna need is two hands. All right, so you're gonna get the idea. I mean, it's pretty simple, obviously, you just unfold it, uh, but just for illustration purposes, I just wanna show you how easy it actually is, and you don't really have to worry about, you know, oh, well, is the other side folding correctly? Uh, I gotta run over there and double check. No, 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 you just tighten them down, and then you do that after the fact. So, now we are headed to Nashville with this load. We're gonna get down the road motors, so let's do that. Uh, if you're ever in Warrington, Missouri, it's exit 188, there's a flying hook over here, you have to stop by for this. This popcorn is amazing. And this big old bag right here is only six bucks. Uh, the, the, this is kettle corn, just straight up kettle corn. They've got caramel, they've got cinnamon, but I highly, highly recommend that you stop. It's worth every single penny, so let's get rolling. some of the comments from the last vlog and wow y'all have a very catchful eye a couple of you saw that I removed the roof fairing off of the truck and that is the big change and the reason okay so here's the reason why I haven't showed it the reason is because it's just nasty under there and I need to get by and get a truck wash uh, and 
then just a little bit more information. When I put the truck into the shop to have this done, there's a couple things that delayed the whole process. There are gonna be brackets up there, which I'll show you here in a little while. Hopefully I'll be able to get that done today. But there's some brackets up there, and in those brackets there are rivets. And the, the dealership told me ahead of time that if there were rivets, that they didn't have time to deal with those. So one, it's super, super dirty. Two, there are brackets that are still up there that I need to have a body shop actually take out so they can fix the rivet holes. And then on top of that, it most likely needs to be painted underneath where those brackets sit. And they're gonna make it look like there were never any brackets up there at all. So the so that needs to be done. And then the boxes that you saw that I alluded to yesterday that you can probably see right now, those are oversized lights. So someone else guessed fancy lights. Well, kind of, they're not exactly chicken lights. Uh, but I bought an LED bar that I'm gonna put on top of the truck. That was the reason for taking the roof bearing off because it was sitting at nearly 13.6. Wouldn't have been able to put that up top and have good visual, uh, which you need that to run oversized loads. Uh, so I've got those back there, and then the smaller boxes are the beacon lights uh, or for just in case I need it. Uh, I bought the magnetic mounts, and that way I can either, if I have something that's over length, in some states requires you to have that beacon actually on the very end of the load, uh, or I can attach them at the end of the trailer. So I've got those just in case. So that's what we're waiting on. That was that was some of the big changes. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and reveal a couple of the other changes, which I will show you a little bit later in this vlog, so stick around. The I changed out the headlights, and the headlights were just, they were original. Uh, I didn't necessarily upgrade and put any super high intensity uh, LEDs in, so that way I'm blinding the other truckers coming down the road. I hate that, and I'm sure you guys probably do too. So I did not put those on, but I did put some nice ones in. And they look pretty cool. They've got a little LED strip that goes around it uh, that you can see whenever it's on uh, or even parked. And I've got my marker lights on. Uh, it's also got a, a little bit different from factory up the, when you turn the turn signal on, uh, it's got some LEDs uh, right above the low and high beams that also signal. Uh, so that looks, a, that looks a lot nicer. And then I had, my side turn signals, which are the side of the truck. I'll show those in a little bit later as well. I changed those out for LED. And the reason I did that is because I was getting corrosion on the one on the driver's side. It was causing all kinds of problems. The LEDs are gonna last much, much longer. So I thought, eh, I'll just go ahead and swap those out. So I did that too. So that's the upgrades that have been done to the truck. Now that's what's coming in a little while, but that does not include the major upgrade that is incoming. So I know I keep referring back to it. I'm gonna stop referring back to it. I'm not trying to build any kind of suspense or anything like that for you guys. I'm just excited, so I really, really wanna talk about it, but I have to wait. But you guys will see that soon enough. So, what do you think about the lights? Let me know in the comments down below, what would you do to my truck? I'm just, I'm just curious. I already know what I, I know what I want for my next aesthetic upgrade, uh, even though these are not really aesthetic upgrades, these are very functional upgrades. Uh, I think I know what I want my next aesthetic upgrade to be, and uh, oh, yeah, 
It would look so good on this truck, uh, especially with that that roof fairing removed. Now, keep in mind that roof fairing, I'm making some hate down in the comments down below, um, it's not done yet. And that was part of the reason why I didn't really want to show it yet. Uh, one of the reasons, like I said, it was really, really dirty up top. And I mean super dirty. Uh, it was, uh, anyway, you get the idea. Uh, so I got that cleaned up today and looked pretty good under there, was happy with that, but you can see that there, those brackets are riveted on, and so I need to get that into the body shop. I've got, she's got a date with the body shop in April, so it's gonna look like all that stuff was never there, that roof fairing was never even on, and she's gonna look nice and good with that flat top haircut. So excited about that. Uh, the. The brackets will be gone. There's there's that almost like 3M looking styrofoam type stuff up there. I'm assuming that it helped with, uh, you know, I don't know what it helped with. I'm not an engineer. But anyway, uh, that's up there. All of that stuff's gonna be gone. And then if there's no paint under where the brackets are located, they're actually going to repaint uh, whatever needs to be repainted up there. So she's gonna look really sharp. Can't wait for that. Uh, right behind me, this is the light bar that I purchased. Uh, I went with this one because it was it was taller than the majority of the options that I had available to me. Uh, so I went with this one because you need to be able to see, I believe it's 200 feet in all directions. So this seemed to be like the best one uh, for that purpose, as well as it was one of the brighter ones. So really like that. And then of course I picked up uh, just couple of these strobe lights, I'm sure you've probably seen them uh, out and about, uh, but I got a couple of those. Uh, they can be magnetic mount. Uh, I believe I can actually adjust the bottom too, so where I can attach them to a pole and drive them through one of the stake pockets uh, and mount them that way. But if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, ring that notification bell so you know when my next video is coming out. We're gonna be talking about how to increase those MPGs very soon. I can't wait for that video. I've got some really good tips for that one. So you guys stick around and we'll see you next time. So, what do you think? I don't know what I think. I think I lost my train of thought.